happy people I'm back with another video and today I have my second installment of my foil organization um, since my last video if you all have not checked it out I will leave it linked in the description box below um, but since my last video I have racked up on a few more foils and so I need to get them organized okay and so this is um, the new container that I have to store my foils in this here is my original um, foil container okay and like I said, I do have a full video on how I organize this entire case. So yeah, if y'all want to check that out, y'all can. But now it's time to organize my second one. I am going to get this open. Um, I'm not actually going to use the labels right now because I felt like when I labeled them last time, the labels were coming off and then I think I'm planning on just swatching them all and numbering them. So I'm going to do that in a, you know at a later date, but right now I just want to get them all transferred um, out of these containers, right? So this is that. These are all of the foils. Oops. <laughs> these are all. These are all of the foils that I need to get organized, as well as some that I have here. Like these are all foils, right? As well as these uh, designer foils that I have. So let's get started here, okay? <laughs> so I'm actually just going to take each box and just, you know, put it inside of the individual containers. So let's see, I'm gonna leave this up right here. And I found that in the last video, um, if I did like a row or two at a time, it was a lot quicker for me. So I'm gonna start with these like galaxy foils. So I'm just gonna uh, take out maybe like five of the containers and then put them all and have them all ready to go. So a quick tip, I almost forgot myself, it's been a while since I organized these, but when you're working with these foils, it's best to put it inside of the cap first and then put it inside of the container. That way you don't actually uh, fold your foils. So this one popped out, but you see if I don't do that, it kind of wrinkles the foils. So it's better to just put it inside of the lid first and then put it inside of the container. So that's just a quick tip for you all, like so then it's good to go. Nice, compact, easy storage. So, yeah. Okay, happy people. So I did film this video a few months ago and while I do, well, while I did at the time enjoy this storage method for my foils, I do think that I am going to switch to a different foil organization method because I find that it's hard for me to actually locate what foil I want and I want to be able to see my foils all at a glance and so I'm likely going to switch to using the foils in a binder but I haven't quite decided yet. I'm still doing more research but yeah this is how I currently have them stored but yeah this is probably going to be changing very very soon but in the meantime I hope you all enjoy the video.
Okay, happy people. I just want to give you guys a quick update um, on what's going on and, you know, the plans for the channel for 2023. So I told you all I'm kind of doing a, a bit of a career switch in my professional career. So I do have a lot of pre-recorded content that um, I filmed and you guys are probably going to see a lot of that be uploaded over the next few weeks um, simply to give me some time to focus on everything else that I have going on. And so, yeah, I have a lot of hauls filmed. I have a lot of um, organized with me videos. I have like many sneak peeks of my nail room. Um, I actually attempted to organize my wardrobe so that I could go ahead and film my nail room tour. But you guys, I didn't got so much more stuff in. I, I, I haven't been, to ch I haven't had a chance to film my nail room tour, but that's a pretty requested video. And so I'll definitely be getting that out soon for you guys. So just don't be alarmed if you all see, um, you know, some pre-recorded content over the next uh, couple of weeks. On my Thursday premieres though, I will try my best to actually like try and film a video. But if I'm not able to, um, it's still going to be some great and amazing content for you guys. So I'm excited for that to be releasing over the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm also restocking inventory for my Ain't She Cute Though t-shirts um, that launched last month. And so um, for those who are interested in getting any size or colors that were sold out I will be restocking them next month and so you'll be able to get your hands on them and then I'm also working on um, some new products that I want to launch for the website too so it's just you know got a lot got a lot going on I'm trying to slow my roll um, but kind of hard to once you get the momentum going so yeah y'all so I hope you all don't mind and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just let you all sit back relax this is going to primarily be like an ASMR video so I'm gonna let you guys sit back relax and enjoy me organizing my foils This is really pretty. I feel like it would go good with this set that I have on, this peachy color. Yeah, that's really nice.
only have like three more left in here, so I definitely need to get another foil storage container, y'all. I really just need to stop buying foils. I have bought so many of them. But yeah, so I'm thinking for these three, I do have these foils here. And these foils are actually really short, so they don't take up much room. I think what I wanna do is just put five of them per container. That way, you know, when I'm looking for a butterfly foil, I can just kind of sift through all of them at once, like five at a time, and then put it back in the same one. So I think that's what I plan on doing. I'll try to somewhat, oops, I'll try to somewhat separate them by color really quick. So these are kind of more so blue. These are kind of pinky purpley, you know. So, so blue, pinky purple, kind of yellow. Okay, so this will be one. I was able to get 10 of those shorter foils in two containers. So that's, like I said, that's how I'm gonna store those. And then also too, uh, this is a good point for me to tell you guys that these containers are very versatile and universal. They can be used for a lot of different things. So for instance, I actually store some of my bling in a few of these containers because I just like that, you know, I can pour it out really easily. Let me show you guys. I love that I can pour it out really easily, you know, flip them all over, use what I need to use and pour back in. So this is one way that I use these containers. Another way that I use them is to store items like this, um, but I recently got some more of these, so I don't think, well, I do like these being stored in here. Yeah, I'm gonna end up keeping that in here. But these right here, I think I'm actually gonna end up keeping these in the original container because they're kind of small, you know? If I end up getting another um, thing, if I end up getting another full storage thing, I'll buy more of these, but right now, I think this is actually enough to house most of my foils. So I am going to, yeah, I don't want to take up a whole thing with these. So I'm going to leave these in here for now. And I actually emptied this one out for the sake of putting it in here. Oops. For the sake of putting it in here. So I actually think, funny enough, I'm going to transfer this back over to here to free up 10 more of these in this particular container so that I can store more foils because I have more of these to store. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because y'all, I also I have luxury foils too that I wanna store. What I can do, yeah, is with these luxury foils, like the ones like this that are transparent, I can store all of those in one container. You know what I mean? You know, so, and these are all Louis Vuitton. I would store all of these like that, you know, and one. And then all of my Chanel, I could put in one, you know. Yeah, so that'll be one, two, three, four more. Yeah, it's gonna make sense to empty out 10 more. So I'm gonna do that really quick. In these like containers where the foil is on the shorter side, like, for instance, these short foils, they don't take up the whole thing. You will need tweezers to actually get them out. So I'm gonna go through and take all of these out and then um, put them back in their original container <laughs> and then um, store the rest of my foils. So I'm gonna do that really quick.
Okay, so I just put all of the foils from these containers back into the original packaging. Um, and I'm going to show you all later why I did that. I have a way that I'm storing it that it kind of works out where this is actually in its original container. Um, but if I end up getting another one of these, I will probably move these over to that. But for now, this is the better way for me to store with. This is the best way for me to store it with the storage that I currently have. So. Um, all of these have been taken off. These labels are just not working out. They're like bunching up and, you know, falling off. So I'm going to go ahead and just discard all the labels that I put. And I am going to end up doing a numbering system. So these really won't matter anyway. Okay, so that's that, y'all. Um, trying to decide... What's next for this one here? This last row here ended off with my Young Nails files. I mean, my Young Nails foils. So I'm kind of tempted. Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Let's see here. For these right here, I said I wanted to put five per container. So I'm just going to, oh man, what? I do have mermaid scales. <laughs> I recently did like an ocean set slash mermaid set and I did not think I had any foils or stamping plates of mermaid. And I do. Okay, well that's good to know. So I have that. There's a cheetah print one. So I think I'll do this like the solid ones in one container and then the ones that have like cool shapes and stuff in another container, you know? I won't be able to see them all, but honestly, you know, storage wise, you know, I don't think it makes sense for them all to have their individual containers. So we're gonna do like this. This one can go here, and this one can go here. Boom. This one here, boom. All right, so we'll do five per container then. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think these can all go in one. Three, five. Okay, so this is gonna go in one container. These three here. All right. And then, so uh, again, my luxury foils, I'm gonna bring these right back out. <laughs> Cause I think, I think this is how I'm going to store them. So I'm gonna store them in like one of these type of containers. And what I'll do is how I organized it earlier where, like I said, uh, all of my Louis Vuitton transparent background ones, I'm putting that in one sleeve or one thing. So I'm just going to separate all of those out. And then here is the blue one. Actually, I actually used this foil on this set right here. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away with those. That looks really, didn't that look really cool? I like that. So all of my Gucci foils, I'll put in one. My solid back Louis, I'll put in one. All right, y'all, don't judge me. I completely changed my mind on how I wanted to store my luxury stuff. So I actually did go back and put everything back into 
back into the original baggies i know i just wasted like 30 minutes doing that but that's okay because i think i do want all of my luxury stuff to be in one place and because of that it's okay that they're kind of like separated out like this um but for the rest of my foil storage this is what i have going on i am going to go ahead and put these empty containers back in here okay so i i pretty much just made space in this one right so i'm gonna go ahead and just put the empty ones back in here and then as I get more foils, I at least have um, storage for it. You know what I mean? So all of that is going to go in here. Like this. Okay, so that's that for now. So this is how I got one storage container. And I need to go through and take these labels off too. Because as y'all can see, like they kind of not even sticking to what the original one was so i'll go through and do that at a later date but so that's what the first storage container is looking like okay this is my second container and this one has space for one more foil so that is that i actually feel like i like this one a little bit better i feel like it doesn't like move around as much as the other one i got um i did get these from two different vendors this one just feels a little bit you know more loose and not as like neat i guess i don't know but it's still it's still good and compact or whatever so yeah so that is that um oh uh, you guys i forgot i had these foils okay so these can go in the other one let's see yeah actually this one right here can go in here how about these So that's that. So this one is completely full. Okay. This one over here, I'm going to put these. And now these containers right here, these would actually be cool to maybe repurpose for like larger sequins or glitters or even if you all make acrylic mixes you know i think i have like four or five of these containers now so i'll be using these for you know random purposes in my nail room these are all the boxes that i emptied out so what i plan to do with these is store nail tips nail charms um larger bling kawaii charms things like that um this right here Currently, these are my old foil boxes that I have where I've stored my nail tips in. And so at the bottom, I just put like what the, um, at the bottom, I just put the nail tips and what kind. Now, when I store my nail tips, um, because I really only do my own nails, I actually just put my sizes inside of the box because it's five, you know, five fingers. So I just put my five, si my five sizes in here. So this, so I do it from like my index, uh, middle ring, pinky thumb index middle ring pinky thumb for two different styles so in this one i have long coffin and stiletto and this one i have square and coffin and then over here i just have my coffin i mean my long square these are half tips so yeah that's just an idea for what you all can do with these old storage containers that's that and then this here I actually hauled this bin from Dollar Tree. Okay, they had a lot of these and I hauled these. I completely redid my wardrobe and I have a nail, uh, I should have an updated nail room tour coming soon where I like show you all how I reorganized it. But this right here is just a piece of that puzzle. And so these are the numbering systems that I was telling you about that I plan on doing for these foils, you know, just so that I can keep them organized after I swatch them. Um, and so I'm just keeping it at the bottom of here for now so that I can keep it in one place. But yeah, so these are um, some of my foils and I like the small footprint because I can literally store them in here. So that's one case. This is my second case of foils. Okay, so that's gonna go right here. And then that's why I was saying earlier that this right here works for these being in these small containers because what I'll do is just put them on their side, you know, and then let it lay flat over top so technically now all of my foils are in one location all right and so then when i close this here now all of my foils are in one location okay like uh i think this holds a total of let me zoom out a little bit more 
This is how this storage container bin is, right? So it can hold two of these plus one, two, three, four, probably five of these little small ones. So that's why I decided to keep it in its original packaging for some of them. And so, yeah, I think this holds a total of, I believe this is a total of 168 foils in this one small container, which I really, really like the small footprint of. So yeah, that is my organization video for my nail foils. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a long one, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you all how I decided to organize these. I don't want this video to be too long, so I am gonna come back and show you all how I organize these luxury foils in a separate video. I do think I want them, all of my luxury items to be in like one location. I think I want them to be stored together with my luxury stickers which is what I have here. And some of my luxury stickers are like color coordinated. So I think I'm gonna just organize the foils and the stickers, you know, together. And I plan to put them all in this type of book, right? Where it's like, you know, I'll probably do the stickers at the top and foils at the bottom, something like that. But I kind of want to put it in here. And I, again, I'm only doing it for my designer stuff. So the rest of my foils will be stored in something like this. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, let me know how do you all organize your foils? Have you seen this storage method before? Do you plan on trying it out? Because I absolutely love how nice, compact, and small this is. Again, I am gonna leave my first nail foil organization video down in the description box below in case you guys wanna check that out to see how I organize my first box. But yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, Leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.